Hey up lads and lasses, Danfire here, back again with some more Infinite Lagrange. Now, today we got a really cool one, we have a new ship. So unfortunately it's not a battlecruiser or an auxiliary ship, but it is a new carrier, so we have at least got a new super cap. Uh, as far as I'm aware, this is going to be sort of released in a couple of phases, uh, but I'll explain that as we get to it. Let's have a read through. So, preview of the release of the Marshall Crux Carrier Blueprint. The Antonius Consortium initially focused on finance and shipping services, with all security affairs for its business activities outsourced. With the growth of its business, the surging demand for security made the existing security system unable to sustain itself. Promoted by Balida Crux, one of the board members of its ship manufacturing department, the consortium built up a fleet of considerable size, supported by its ship manufacturing industry. The fleet not only provides support for the ever-growing business of the Antonius Consortium, but also generates continuous demand for various research ships, uh, various research of the ship manufacturing department. As the fleet commander, Belida Crux achieved a lot of exploits leading the fleet and was finally given the rank of Marshal known as Marshall Crux. So, pretty cool. In memory of Belida's exploits, a carrier developed by the Antonius Precision Manufacturing Corporation will be named after him. The authorization of its blueprint will be available to you. Let's look at the blueprint re uh, release relevant affairs. The release of this new uh, blueprint is divided into three stages. One, ship exhibition and sale. From the 26th of January, you can purchase the Marshall Crooks carrier at some of the trading posts to experience its capabilities in actual combat. I'm going to gather that this is going to work in a similar way that the current uh, trading ships work. So you buy them, you can't get XP for them or anything like that. But, you know, you can test out a ship, see how viable it is. And this is an interesting one because I have got a bit more information on this. Uh, and I believe it's listed anyway, further down. Two, official technology authorization. From the 1st of February, the technology authorization for this blueprint will go into circulation of the research agreement. Tech files selected by Enterprise and ship and aircraft BP files 2.0. So this is it, where it's starting to get added to special or specific boxes. And then we have on the 8th of February, the technology authorized to go into circulation of the black market tech files 2.0. 2.0 means that you have to have completed, I believe it's at least phase two before you unlock black market uh, 2.0 files. Well, that's what it should be. I've heard some rumors that it's not the case. It may be bugged, but if it's bugged, don't tell them and they might not fix it and then you'll have a chance of grabbing it anyway. So really cool ship design. It does look similar to the CTG, the uh, Constantine the Great. And for obvious reasons, it is Antonios Consortium as well. Uh, but yeah, really, really cool. I love these little hangers on the side here. And I... When I think of carriers, I think of these asymmetric designs because I, uh, when I used to play Eve Online, I think of the um, the carrier that I used to run in that was an uh, was a Amar carrier, and it's like cut in half almost with a flat bit coming out the side. It was called the Aeon. Um, so whenever I think of carriers, I always think of that, and I always like the idea of having these like big solid like holes on one side and then it thinning out on the other side it, i just think they're really nice looking designs on ships so yeah very much approve of this ship it may potentially take my uh favorite looking ship spot so the ship exhibition sale event screen we can see that here the antonius precision manufacturing corporation will be holding the ship exhibition and sale event at the trading post affiliated to space cities in the target star system of the node recovery agreement the trojite crystal collection agreement and the data rescue agreement at first that's phase two phase three and phase four 
During the event, you can go to trading posts and use resources or different forms of currencies to purchase the ship of various uh, built with the blueprint to experience firsthand. The ships you purchase can be used in the star system where you are located. So I don't think you can buy the BP. I think it's like you buy a ship, but I could be incorrect on that. Looking at this, it looks like you can spend UE coins, some form of weapon tech, um, and not entirely sure what that one is. Is that, um, that's the icon for the, the repair modules, isn't it? So that, that's what that might be. So you obviously can spend a certain amount of those or something and you can get these. Uh, so interesting. So you was expecting them to be for like Trojite or just straight Yui coin or something like that. But it looks like there's uh, something a little bit more extra going on here, which is uh, quite nice. A little bit more depth to the trading mechanic because it's kind of dead for the most part. Uh, disclosure of ship versions for exhibition and sale. After the exhibition and sale for the ship, last for a period of time, the official authorization of the blueprint will be available. Explorers signing the node recovery agreement, Trojite and data agreements can get the blueprint authorization through the research agreement, tech files selected by enterprises and ship and aircraft BP files 2.0 in the target star system. Research agreement you know about, I've done a video on that already. Enterprise, uh, tech files selected by enterprises are the boxes you can pick up that are specific to, uh, say, Antonius Consortium or specific to uh, any of the other Noma shipping group and stuff like that. So they're the boxes that you can buy, uh, usually in events and stuff like that, but there are some that you can just go into and buy uh, through one of the Galaxy menus somewhere. And the ship and aircraft BP files is the 15RP box. After the official technology authorization is available for a week, the technology authorization for the corresponding blueprint will go into the encrypted authorization circulation. Explorers signing the node recovery agreement, the tro and yeah, the, all the things again. Blueprint authorization through the research of the black market tech files in target star systems. In this blueprint release event, the Antonius Precision Manufacturing Corporation Corporation will provide you with the Marshall Crooks carrier. Compared with conventional carriers, this one possesses a specially enhanced anti ship firepower, is mounted with a high power ion cannon as default as its primary weapon. Besides the aircraft carrying cap capacity equal to the conventional carriers, it also boasts combat capabilities in all aspects. So we can have a look here. Now I've heard that this can, uh, you can kind of see it says large fighters as opposed to medium or small and it definitely wouldn't be small anyway I'd have believed. And I believe it carries four. Now I'm not 100% certain on that, that's just something that I've been told and that came from one of the Chinese servers I believe. Uh, you can also see that it looks like it costs 40 CP, which is the same as the CV3K, which is not too bad. We have the white flashing integrated armory here, which is gonna be partially this bow mounted cannon, but I'm guessing you can see here, that looks like there might be a cannon there and potentially some others dotted around. Uh, so that will be its ion cannon system for certain. And we have the integrated aircraft hangar. Uh, just to note, it can only take four mods on the aircraft hangar and the uh, five mods for the uh, ion cannon. Considering this is uh, Antonius Consortium and the CTG also has an ion cannon, I would expect this to have a similar damage profile as the CTG's uh, main ion cannon um, with the added, you know, integrated aircraft hangar. That's quite good because the CTG doesn't really rely on its ion cannon, it's the missiles it, you know, it relies on. So if this has the same ion cannon, it's kind of like a CTG dropping the missiles to gain anti-air or, you know, bombers or something like that instead. Additional energy system here as well. It'd be interesting to see if that's one of the types that actually provides a percentage increase to energy weapons, but we can't find that out quite yet. Uh, and there is a pair of those. Standard propulsion system and command system. And we have the armor system there as well. Unfortunately, can't quite make out what's going on here. It looks like it's an A for anti-ship firepower, which will be interesting. So yeah, really cool ship. Love this design. Um, 
like I said earlier, this could very well be uh, my new favorite ship in the game. Um, considering there's like an open spot here and we know that we can get different systems for this, it's potential that we may be able to find maybe increased hangars or corvette hangars and that kind of stuff or even maybe healing UAVs um, along to add to this thing, but we'll definitely check it out because blueprint design is a thing here that we're definitely going to get some added systems potentially here if you're so lucky enough to ever find this, let alone find two of them or more. So. Thank you for guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys next time.